pay me. It worked in my favor cause nobody said Brand new whip, got no keys. Tell my clothes, no starch, please. Soon as I nut. How's it going guys, Chris here with the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm here with my man, Ronnie. We're obviously here at, you guys already know, JRP Performance. And today's the day we take delivery of my brand new motor. I'm gonna be here for the next few hours while we take delivery of the brand new motor. It's sitting right in there. He's gonna start assembling it. It takes maybe, what, like seven, eight hours, huh? Something like that, yeah. So I'm gonna get like a good portion of it. We got Jeff's Evo here. Now it is time. Oh my God, I missed this car, bro. Bro. Oh, I still got the shitty fitment. I thought it'd get better if I left it parked for a while. <laughs> Does ever need to hire someone outside that just welcomes people that doesn't know shit about cars? You know who to call, okay? Welcome to JRP, guys. Come, come on in. Come on, you want a savage pack? Come on in, guys. All right, this is where all the magic happens, guys. So this is your motor. This is my motor. As mentioned. Oh. So all of this is mine. This is all yours. Jesus. So we'll talk about each component in the Man, I need a bigger engine room. <laughs> now if you guys want a better description of all the stuff we actually got, you saw it in the previous video. We mixed some stuff up, but what were we going to tell them? I was going with the 91 and the E85 tune originally, right? Originally, yes. But Ronnie had this great idea and I like great ideas. So what was that? You want to tell them? Yep, yeah, sure. So I basically told them uh, pump gas is for pussies. There you go. And he agreed. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're completely throwing away the 91 tune. I don't want it anymore. I was worried there's no 85 stations near my house. I might run out of gas, but one just opened up eight minutes away. So I'm not too worried about it. And what's going to be replacing the 91 tune? You want to explain to them? Yes, sir. So Chris is basically going to have a low boost E85 tune, which is going to be on pump. Uh, pump gas E85. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, well, more power yes. because it, does, it just doesn't knock. I mean, that's what I use on my car. So what we're saying here is I'm going to be using the 85 for more of a daily driving tune. And then if I ever want to race my like, YouTuber homies, film some sick videos for you guys, do some max speed runs. You guys already know. Flick of the cruise control button. Kill mode is on. Ignite red. Activated. Spanking begin. Right, we're going to start a series right now. It's called Build Breakdown with Ronnie. You have 60 seconds to go through all of this and explain what it is. Okay. <laughs> Main bearings, this is what the crankshaft rides on. So I got to clearance this with these tools over here. Make sure we have proper oil clearance. You got the crankshaft over here, which spins and creates magic. Uh, you got your rod bolt stretch gauges, because we don't just torque rod bolts. We actually stretch them to make sure they're providing the proper clamping force. We got the JRP spec pistons, which are also magical. <laughs> so these are the main caps. So the 4B11 has a five-piece main cap, and uh, unlike the Evo 8 and 9s that have a one-piece girdle. Um, so you got four bolt mains basically, which we replace with studs. So ARP studs basically replace these and clamp them even more. We run a machine through it to make sure it's perfectly straight. If it's not, we straighten it out. That's right, that's how we do it. <laughs> CP Curl connecting rods, like I mentioned before, Pro Edge Streams, these are the strongest uh, steel con rods you can get. ARP 625 custom age head studs. These are the strongest head studs you can get for a 4B11. Rod bearings underneath the mains. We use the King stuff. So what what do we got here? Okay, so this is a JRP spec ported head. So as you as you can see, we have. Damn, who did that work? Jesus Christ! It's not crazy aggressive, <laughs> but it's uh, you know enough for what we're trying to do. The exhaust ports too. We actually opened them up a little bit. I'm just gonna give you guys a brief overview. The 4B11 has super small exhaust ports, so they're slightly enlarged. Bro, I feel like I'm at the dentist right now. And it smells like the dentist too. Does it? <laughs> so Ronnie was just asking me how Save the Hair started. I don't think a lot of you guys know where hashtag Save the Hair started. So I'm going to put the exact clip in how it started right now. How's it going, How's it going? guys? <laughs> the YouTube guy. Yep. How's it going? Good, man. 
Doing all right. So the uh, reason we stopped you is because your uh, license plate's obstructed. Do you have your license registration? Issue? Yeah, of course. Well, what's the other ticket for? Let me see. Exhaust, modification, Exhaust. and... Exhaust. Yep. While we're at it, guys, make sure to leave a comment for this guy's bald ass head. What's a good comment? What should we start? Hashtag save the hair. Hashtag save the hair down below. <laughs> Hashtag get him some hair ointment, bro. Do you know where the next spot is? The no. next spot is? Yeah. No. I'm, I'm just gonna follow you too. Okay, let's go. I'll lead the way, let's go. <laughs> Can I get a 30 second head start, please? <laughs> There you go, for all the new subscribers asking, that's how it started a year and a half ago. You guys already know what's coming next. I need one of these bad boys right here. Coming very soon. Once this whole build process is done, we can go back to the, to the sexy looks. Oh baby. Oh baby, I miss this thing. Does it still have the Evo smell? Does it still have the smell? Oh my god, I cannot explain to you guys how much I miss this car. I don't know if all Evos have this, but the smell of the Evo. Sometimes I even forget I have this car, but think I hear Tata. I hear a rice bag coming. Oh, speaking of rice bags. What's up? What's up? Where's your hair, Tata? I don't know, it left. I was having a moment with my car. You know this is a performance shop, right? Oh shit. Yeah, the, the back place is next door. Oh, my yeah, go ahead back out of here if you want. We got the S2000 over here. Chris. Chris. Tata? Chris. Are you, is he inside the car? Chris, I'm here. What the fuck is this kid doing? There's no way. Chris. Tata? What? Is that you? Yeah, what's up? What the fuck are you doing in here? I don't know. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> Dude, Tata, I'm gonna need your best engine sounds I can get. Dude, not bags. I want a fucking motor, bro. <laughs> Ronnie, are you busy right now? I gotta I got show you something. Yeah? There's something wrong with my car. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad problem right there. Yeah. I don't know if I can fix this. Can we build it? Uh... Probably, it's gonna cost you a lot of money though. Ronnie, thank you for everything. No worries, bro. Send me pictures, yeah? Will do. You're gonna be here pretty late. I can't stay here, I'm about to fall asleep. But thank you for everything. Of course, bro. I will see you Saturday. If you guys can't tell by my eyes, I've been awake for about 35 hours now. I decided not to sleep last night because I knew I wouldn't wake up at 7 a.m. to come here. The grind is real. Jeff's Evo is currently in the works. We're gonna be here filming with that when it's done. It's gonna be insane. My Evo right here. Ronnie's Evo right there. Both their motors are getting currently built. So when that thing is done, two banger videos coming for you guys. My shift here at JRP Performance is done. Employee of the month. Let me start the creeping.